رحب فيكم مشاهدينا فقرتنا الفنية من لندن اليوم رح نتعرف سوا على موهبتين من مصر هم أختين سارة ولورا أيوب ولدوا وربيوب سكوتلندا وبدأ حبهم وشغفهم للموسيقى الكلاسيكية بجيدوا العزف على آلات متعددة قدروا يوصلوا إلى الجمهور العالمي لكن أكيد تأثرهم بأصولهم وجذورهم العربية وخاصة مصر كتير واضحة بأعرضهم تعال نتعرف سوا على الأختين How did it start, the whole love and passion for classical music and playing instruments like the violin and the cello? Well, our parents loved listening to music. Um, they were born in Cairo, where having a musical instrument and learning is a bit of a luxury. Not everyone can afford these you know, luxuries. So when they moved to Scotland 25 years ago, um, we started listening more to classical music and then we were born uh, in Glasgow and we took up the instruments and our parents encouraged us to learn. You've been discovered by a very famous uh, musician. Um, maybe you can explain that to us, who it is, and how did that help you uh, preach to the English-British audience? Uh, Mark Ronson is a, a very famous uh, DJ and producer. He most notably uh, wrote the song Uptown Funk. He produced Amy Winehouse, Adele, and a list of other very famous artists. Uh, we uploaded a video of ourselves playing Uptown Funk on the violin and cello and put it on YouTube. He then saw it um, and invited us to Abbey Road Studios in London to record a new version of the song um, and that was showcased at the Brit Awards which is a big award ceremony in, in the UK and, and lots of people saw it and that really helped launch our career. Music and especially classical music, no vocals, is a universal language. Anyone can understand it. Mm. It doesn't have to be uh, in a certain language to target or a certain audience. Um, that, of course, helped you reach out to the international wider audience. But what about the fact that you're Egyptian and uh, are, are you planning anytime soon to go back to Egypt or to the Middle East and perform there and maybe uh, attract uh, your own kind of people? Of course, um, Egypt and Arabic music has played a massive part in our, in our careers and our culture. Um, we produced an album just a month ago with two Arabic tracks, um, a celebration of Egypt, and um, we are talking with the Cairo Symphony Orchestra at the moment, and hopefully we will go back to collaborate with them sometime soon. So that uh, there's a lot of uh, Middle Eastern uh, music uh, and uh, Western in, in what you play. Is that also because uh, you want to get everyone to kind of listen to what you play? Of course, we're trying to include lots of people with our music. We play Arabic as well as Scottish. We play popular music as well as, as classical. We try and make it as inclusive as possible. But what's important for us is to celebrate our heritage. And we are from Egypt and we're, we're very proud to be Egyptian and we try and include it in our repertoire as much as possible. لكن لهم يكون وصلنا إلى ختام فقرتنا الفنية الموسيقية من لندن وبيتجدد موعدنا بالحلقة الجاية باي باي